Good morning. Today's video is going to be dedicated to a channel that, that I really love and look forward to every time a new video comes out. This one is called Beat Diabetes. Uh, <clears throat> and Dennis and his, his wife, Benedicta, uh, run that show. Most of the videos are, are Dennis on his own, but when he brings his wife, Benedicta, in, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, she's got a great personality and Occasionally they do uh, skits together, and that's that's a, really a lot of fun. But uh, before I begin too far uh, into that, I, let me uh, remind everyone that I'm primarily telling my own story here of how I uh, lost eventually 75 pounds. I initially lost uh, 82 pounds and then put about seven back on because people were telling me that I looked too, too thin. And so, uh, and that was probably true. So I put about seven pounds on and I've stayed. That makes me now 75 pounds less than where I started. And I uh, stay, I've stayed in that range for about nine months now and don't have any trouble doing it. I've figured out how to, how to control all of that. Um, and, but I, but also I want to say at the beginning, like I do in all of my videos, that I, I'm not offering medical advice here. I'm primarily just telling my own story and uh, what helped me and the, the resources that I used, the books, the uh, doctors, the uh, YouTube channel, lots and lots of YouTube channels that I watched on my journey and... Um, I'm kind of sharing that with you so that you, if you need to start a journey like I did, uh, you'll have the resources to do it and, and hopefully zero in on a lot of those good resources quicker than I did. I went through a lot of stuff that made it way more complicated than it should be. And that, uh, that that's one thing with these type of programs is, uh, when you get into the ketogenic diet and to intermittent fa intermittent fasting is pretty easy if you, if you catch the the idea of it, but there are tons of people out there trying to make money off of keto, and they they honestly make it a lot more uh, complicated than it has to be. The main thing is to go low carb, low carb, low carb, and uh, that means you've got to look at the labels on everything. You've got to for vegetables and stuff that don't have carbohydrates, uh, you know, label, they don't have nutritional label stamped on them. You can Google it and find out how many carb carbohydrates a potato has. And potatoes are not good. Potatoes are full of carbohydrates. Any vegetable that grows underground, any root vegetables like potatoes or carrots, and yes, that includes sweet potatoes, uh, any root vegetables like that, carrots and potatoes being two of the main ones, uh, they're high in carbs and, and, uh, you, you won't like the results that you get from eating too many, uh, or I didn't. I mean, it definitely didn't work for me. And and of all the people I've listened to on these, uh, who've gone down these low carb ketogenic diet uh, journeys, the potatoes and carrots are, are two things you just need to cut out. Those root vegetables you need to cut out. Onions are the same same thing. Uh, just think about it. just think about anything that's a root vegetable or grows underground. That's generally going to be one that's higher in carbohydrates and one that you need to eliminate. Uh, many of the other vegetables, in front green beans, things like that, or broccoli, things like that, uh, are fine. You know, um, and meat uh, is not a problem. I've had people wanting me to get into specifics, uh, you know, give them a list of things I eat and don't eat, and maybe I will make a video like that. I've been avoiding that because I don't want to get into the whole uh, debate of what's better, being a vegetarian or a vegan or vegetarian or uh, or being a meat eater and stuff. I don't really want to get in. I eat meat, <laughs> and uh, meat is... Uh, usually zero carbs as long as you haven't adulterated it with uh, barbecue sauce, which is full of sugar and, and things like that. Even a lot of dry rubs that they make have sugar in them. So uh, 
anyway, I don't want to, I really don't want to get into that whole, is it better to be a vegetarian? Is it better to be a vegan? Is it better to be a meat eater? Uh, uh, I eat meat, I'll, I'll tell you that, and, and I might get into more specifics of, of what I eat in a different video, but I want to dedicate this video to uh, Dennis Pollock and his wife, uh, Benedicta, and the channel Beat Diabetes, because that channel helped me a ton. Uh, and Dennis is, is not a doctor. Uh, he's he's a minister, actually, and does missionary work. He met his wife, Benedicta, on the mission field in Africa, and uh, she has a, a beautiful African accent, and you'll uh, tune in and watch them. You'll really enjoy it, and uh, their, their personalities are fun together and, and everything. But uh, one of the great things that Dennis does in with his channel uh is he will test different foods. Uh, when, when he found out that he had uh, blood sugar problems, his to start with, his mother uh, was a full-blown diabetic and uh, had many, many complications from it, even I believe had to have a, an amputation uh, from, from diabetes and um, ultimately died younger than she should have with complications from diabetes. So when he started having blood sugar problems, you know, he took it real seriously. But somebody that he worked with gave him a blood glucose monitor where he could stick his finger and, and check his blood sugar. Um, and he became kind of a fanatic about or obsessed with it, which is a very good thing if you're having blood sugar problems. He tested himself all the time. and and began, got in the habit of testing himself to see how different foods affected his blood sugar. And I, I adopted that uh, same policy after watching Dennis for a while. And uh, it's a really good thing to do. You'll be surprised how some foods affect you and how some of the, the things you've been told about different types of foods uh, being more healthy and stuff may not be true if it spikes your blood sugar and you're worried about diabetes then uh, th those are good things to know for instance he tests white bread against whole wheat bread whole grain bread uh that sort of thing he'll you know one day he'll eat white bread the next day he eats uh wheat bread and and tests his blood sugar and in his tests he found that uh that his blood sugar rose almost the same with either bread with, uh, you know, the, he, I think he may have done a little better with the wheat bread, but he, he, his blood pressure spiked with, with both types of bread. And, uh, one of the most interesting videos he's done, uh, where he tested different foods and, and his most watched video, I looked, at his channel this morning, just before I came on to see what his most, what, he has tons of videos, uh, and, but the one that has gotten the most views is one where he tested bananas uh, one day and candy bars the next. I can't remember which one he tested for, whether he did the bananas first and then the next day he did candy bars or vice versa. It doesn't matter, but um, in his video, they, they both spiked his blood sugar about the same amount, the bananas and the uh, the candy bars. And that's a real surprise for a lot of people. A lot of people think, oh, well, you know, fruits are good. And, and, uh, and, and they probably, they may be for people who aren't uh, insulin resistant, you know, eating low, you know, small amounts of fruit and stuff may be a good thing. But if you're having blood sugar problems, fruits are not your friend or they weren't for Dennis and they weren't for me. I, tr I, I tried the same blood sugar. I started copying a lot of the things he did for myself to see if my body reacted the same way as his because everybody's body is different. And, and uh, like a lot of times he'll do these blood sugar tests with his wife and, and you know, her blood sugar may go up boom, just a little bit you know, with some of these uh, foods that send his up to, to 185, you know, a, a, a food or a fruit that might send him to 185, you know, may bump her up to 115 or, or something like that. 
and uh, and she drops right back to normal pretty quickly. And oh, with the two fit dogs, they do those kind of tests as well, and um, and similar results. He the husband has blood sugar issues, insulin uh, resistance, and the wife doesn't. And and they'll test. They've tested quite a few different things like that, and and his blood sugar will spike a lot higher than hers. And his keto, he drops out of ketosis real easily too. They test blood ketones. Uh, and, but at any rate, back to, to Dennis Pollock and his uh, Beat Diabetes channel, um, that I, I tested the bananas myself and they, they spiked, spiked me just like they do him and apples, almost any fruit, you know, affects me the same way it does him. And, and from what I hear from a number of Dr. Boz even has a video saying fruit is evil, you know, and that's an attention getter. But for people who are, I mean, she didn't do it just for that reason, but she, she was trying to get people uh, uh, to realize that all the stuff they've been told about, you've got to eat your fruits and veggies every day. And all this stuff is not necessarily true, especially for a diabetic. So Anyway, watch Dennis's channel. It's a great uh, YouTube channel. You'll learn a lot from it. And he's just, a, he's just a good person who's very sincere about what he does. He's not a doctor, and he'll tell you that in almost every video. He's not a doctor. Uh, up until this point, he's the first uh, YouTuber I've recommended who's not a doctor. There's a couple others I'm going to recommend. Uh, he's learned a lot. Uh, from his own journey and then from interviewing and uh, dealing with people over the years who are diabetic. And, and you'll, I believe you'll benefit a great deal from his channel. And I'll provide a link to his channel uh, below in the description. And um, I'm going to start putting at the beginning and the end of of most of my videos a before and after picture of myself. It's It'll be a picture of my wife and I, and um, it'll show me uh, at 250 and then down at 168. The second picture has me at 168, which is the 82 pound loss. Um, I've since gained seven pounds of that uh, back, but you'll see the contrast between me at 250 and me at, at 168. I'm now at 175, and which is down 75 pounds from my original weight. But um, I could get back down to 168 if I wanted to. I know how it works now, so I could uh, I can control it any way I want. And, uh, but at any rate, uh, watch, watch the beat diabetes channel and, um, you'll, you'll really like Dennis and, and enjoy the, the information, the interviews, the blood tests that he, he has to offer. Uh, so thank you.